looking through the TK Maxx sales. It's not really much. I was going to look at the books, but there's not really anything <laughs> that um, would interest me. But uh, yeah, I forgot they had books and a lot of Valentine's Day stuff as well. We are in TK Maxx, just looking around. I picked out kind of a Valentine's Day themed candle. And um, yeah, we're gonna look around. I think maybe the beauty reductions because they've got a lot on clearance as well. So yeah, I think I've shown you guys some clips of other things I've seen around the shop. It's quite a big one as well. So yeah, let's see if there's anything good in beauty section as well. So I am at my parents' house right now. And yeah, we were just looking around TK Maxx, a couple shops in the local area, and then I'm going to get my hair done. So I just wanted to do one final like before image because I can always use this clip in the future for like any hair videos, you know, transformation updates of how my hair has improved because I still need to work on it. That's one of my end goals still for 2024. So yeah, I haven't done anything with it other than brush through it and, you know, do a mask, pre-shampoo treatment oil, like everything was pre-shower, in the shower, like hair treatments and shampoo and all that normal products really. So I haven't done anything special. It's not styled. So do keep that in mind. Although the products I used, especially the Lacora bonded shampoo, which is sold at Aldi, has been amazing. It's worked wonders. So if you can see the front sections here, like they are actually very smooth, very like, yeah, just sleek, smooth. They look really, really healthy. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of smoothed over my whole hair. So it does look in decent condition. Um, it's just the ends do need a trim. They're not looking, they're not looking their best, but that's okay. Um, and uh, yeah, this is uh, the before and I will show you what my hair looks like after. It will be styled, obviously, but yeah, in a couple hours, you'll see the transformation and I have a picture for inspiration to show as well. Okay, guys, I am back now post haircut. Doesn't this look so good? Yeah, it's obviously styled, blow dried, but yeah, I love it. I love all the layering. So now when I style it and use, you know, like volumizing products or even like heatless curls, just, you know, wrapping my hair around and tying it up, it's going to look really good. It adds more volume. It's healthier. So yeah, I'm really happy with the result. I think it does look a lot better. I am in uh, the v and I was going to say South Kent Museum, that's called Victoria and Albert. So I'm in the v and I'm waiting for a friend, we're going to look around. There's a free um, exhibit on musicals, it's like a, it's not a, it's not exactly an exhibit, it's more of like a display, so it's for free, it's probably like, you know, 10 costumes on loan from the West End. And given my recent obsession, that's probably um, a really great exhibit to go see. And uh, yeah, you can see second day of my fresh hair here as well. I don't know if I'll show you guys any more here. I don't want to like, you know, disrupt people and film a lot. But um, yeah, I'll see what I can uh, film and show you guys. And my social anxiety is in full force right now because I am on my own in public filming with a camera in my face. But do you know what? It's worth the vlog for you guys. So yeah, I will show you a little bit of the museum if I can. And I'll probably just do the outfit of the day when I get home. We just got the most gorgeous content done here on this staircase as well. It's giving Gossip Girl. So we got a few videos done. With hopefully what is synced music that I used from the YouTube music library as kind of like an overlay to create the atmosphere. You all have seen clips from the Coco, Gabrielle Chanel, I should say, not Coco Chanel exhibit. Um, the, I believe it's called Fashion Manifesto. And then, yeah, just a little bit around the VNA. Got some content done with my friend, which I think I mentioned in one of the clips as well. So yeah, hopefully you got some nice clips out of that just now. I'm obviously back home now and going to show you a full outfit of the day. I have one glove on and no, I'm not going to make an OJ Simpson joke. I feel like there is something very funny and uh, dark humor-esque probably here but I'm let's let's not go there maybe so yeah I have um just one of my gloves on obviously I had to take one off to film but actually I technically didn't have to because don't know if you can see here oh it's okay it probably won't focus but anyway it has this little touchpad thing so I can use it with my phone which is why I got these gloves and uh yeah I better look at my hair which is second day hair I'm probably gonna wash it tonight but it kept up quite nicely from the 
hairdresser's blow dry that I had uh, yesterday. And now for the actual outfit, I'm wearing, um, so I want to show you the full outfit, obviously, but yeah, it is a black Primark coat. I've had it for a long time. So yeah, you can probably find something like that in any high street shop but this one's particularly old. This is another quite an old piece I've had in my wardrobe, but I love it and I don't plan on giving it away anytime soon. And this is a, what do, what would you call this? Okay, there is an official, oh, sorry, I keep moving the camera. There is an official name. It's where, you know, it fits into this and then it ties up as almost like a scarf. I don't know the official term for that. And uh, yeah, it's a half purple half white which I love I love these colors I love the dual tone of the scarf so that's why I got it and it's from Topshop from years ago underneath I just have a polo neck which I rolled down twice um because it's quite tight it's from Zara I got it last year in the sales and yeah I'm sure they stock something like this right now because it's still winter obviously so you can probably still find something similar and then to pair with it is a high-waisted skirt it's almost like it really is technically a knee length but I um yeah, I'm tall, so it doesn't fit on me that way. It is a DKNY skirt, and here you can see it's a dual tone. So, oh, okay, so it's got half um, of like a quilted fabric here, and then half, I don't know, cotton or something. But yeah, it's from DKNY, and I bought it uh, from a charity shop. And finally, the handbag is from Public Desire. I've got that, I think, two years ago, I want to say, in one of the I think the January sales, um, yeah, and I probably got it on ASOS, but I feel like I've had it for at least a year or two. Um, the brand is Public Desire, and I probably paid like £10 for it, so it's really, really cheap. But it's kind of like in the style of the Dior saddlebag, which, no, I can't really afford to buy, which is probably like £700 or something. But I found kind of like a cheap equivalent. So, yeah, that is the outfit. Good morning, guys. Looking a little crazy because my hair is up in a mask. I've got um, the... Got the hair syrup rosemary oil, which is basically just like a rosemary oil, all through my roots brushed out. I have a, what do I have? I have a Bondi, Bondi Boost mask. Oh, is the camera tilting? Um, but yeah, I have a Bondi Boost hair mask on the ends. And then on my eyes, I have obviously an under eye mask here. This is just like hydrating and brightening, lifting, just kind of like, yeah, to rejuvenate the under eye area. So in case I had extra dark circles, um, yeah, just wanted to make um, yeah, my under eyes look a bit better. So I don't need as much concealer today because yeah, today's going to be a very exciting day. I am going to the ballet, which I haven't done in a very long time. And I'll update you more on that as I'm getting ready. And my hair looking like absolute rat tails over here, but it is obviously um, fresh out the shower, dripping wet hair still, and I am going to style it. So let me let me get my little tool here. This is what I'm using. And uh, yeah, I've just switched it on. Here we go. It's um, the Bondi Boost blow dry brush, which I received from the brand. So I did receive it for free, um, but it's really, really amazing. I love it. It adds a lot of volume. It's a type of product. I manifested it because it's the type of product I wanted. I wanted something that would just give my hair that really gorgeous, like 90s blow dry, volumized look. And especially now with the new layers, I'm interested and excited to see how it turns out. So yeah, I know it's looking a little crazy like this, but I promise it will look so much better once it's done. Okay, final end result. I no longer look like a rat tail. So this is my hair now. And uh, yeah, I'm testing it out. This is the first time I've had this kind of haircut pretty much ever. I've never quite had a hairstyle like this. This piece is not functioning the way it should. But other than that, I'm really happy with um, how it looks. So yeah, I used the blow dry brush. And then I did go in with straighteners to kind of flick the ends, give it a little bit more of um, not really texture, but like a nicer shape and form so uh yeah this is how it looks so definitely i'll be taking some content at the ballet today i'm very excited and yeah i thought you know what let me just have a really good hair day so i'm happy with the end result the treatment washed out nicely um doesn't weigh my hair down at all i used a new shampoo as well from lacora which i'm happy with uh yeah so i think i'm having a decent hair day makeup is done as well i kept it really simple I'm in quite natural lighting now. Um, yeah, all I did really was put quite a bit of contour here, um, lined my lips, lip gloss. They look quite plump now. And uh, yeah, kept it very minimal. And I think that's what I'm going for. A nice silk blouse. I thought that was uh, the right elegant choice for the ballet. And yeah, just finished filming a video as well. So I've had a productive day and I'll update you later. 
I'm doing a little outfit of the day before I head out. As I said, we're going to the ballet. So yeah, a little outfit of the day. It's nothing, you know, super um, special, but it is a, I, th I feel like it's an elegant outfit, a little more put together, more fitting for the ballet than, you know, just like a casual outfit. Um, yeah, it's kind of giving workwear, but that's fine. So it's um, this DKNY skirt, which I showed, should be in this vlog. I think I literally showed it a couple clips ago. Um, it's the quilted DN DKNY skirt, got in charity shop. This blouse I received for free from a brand. It's um, an online international brand. Uh, I don't remember the name, but yeah, if you look at my Instagram, it's tagged there. And then my Kate Spade bag, which I've also shown in previous uh, Vlogmas clips. This is one of, this is my newest handbag, but I feel like it matches nicely, still adds a bit of color, makes it interesting. And yeah, hopefully my hair stays, uh, stays like this because I actually like how it's sitting right now. Um, and then I'll get some more content at the Coliseum, which is the venue that the ballet's at. We are sat in the theatre now. We finally made it. We were running late, but we we made it. We are in the Coliseum, and I will show you guys a few more clips, but we're just in our seats right now. Giselle, which I probably... Yeah, explain to you guys when I was at the theater, which was the London Coliseum. And I'm pretty sure it's the location. I guess, of course, ballets are performed there a lot as well. I think it's also an actual opera house. So yeah, anything to do with that side of um, the theater and West End, you know, the more kind of cultural, uh, intellectual side of it, I guess, where, you know, it's, although, you know, I love the culture in terms of just going to see a performance. I think the ballet and opera, it's a little more like highbrow. But yeah, either way, it was really, really beautiful location and got a little bit of content there as well. Our seats were really good. I did buy them, not last minute, but it was, well, actually it was kind of last minute. I think it was literally a week before, but it was more spontaneous. So I wasn't pre-planning it and the seat availability was much lower. So for the day that worked for us, um, yeah, I managed to get two tickets. And I go through Today Ticks, which is, uh, I'm not, this is not sponsored or anything. It's literally just a website and app that um, I heard of. So that's where I purchased them. Uh, they are quite good. You can find discounts. If you're not fussy um, or too specific about when and where you're going, you can get really, really cheap offers sometimes. So went through there. Sometimes I buy through other places as well. But yeah, that's the website um, that I bought them on. And yeah, they were decently priced and we got like mid range uh, mid-range tickets i think at the bottom and is it no not the dress circle we were the upper circle so i think it's dress circle stalls and then those little side balconies those are like the most expensive premium seats but yeah ours was still a really good view so we were sat kind of mid-level so we were looking down but the stage is so big and there's usually quite a lot of performers and you know stage design that it doesn't feel super far away so i think for the ballet maybe even opera you, you'd be fine sitting kind of further back. So yeah, that was really good and a relief because I wasn't sure what the seats would actually be like when we got there, but it was all great, really good view, really beautiful. I would say it's actually like family friendly. There was nothing yeah, inappropriate or too dark or anything like that. I think it was quite com comedic in a way, like hearted, ethereal, kind of like a fairy tale story where just a brief overview, Giselle or Gazelle, I'm, I might be, I'm gonna say Giselle because that's the name I'm used to, but it pr could be pronounced Giselle, is a kind of a village girl. She's a girl from a little Bavarian village. And then she falls for a, oh, to focus for a moment there. She falls for a duke, but she doesn't know um, kind of some of the secrets he's hiding. And yeah, then it turns into the second act, which is very much like Swan Lake, where, these, these group of like kind of jilted brides try and lure the Duke to his death basically. So yeah, it's quite an intense story, but it was really, really good and intense in the way that like the storyline is quite heavy, but the performance was very enjoyable and magical, really, really beautiful. So highly, highly enjoyed that. Recommend that if you like the ballet or you're coming to London, uh, you know, it's kind of, it, I think it's finished now, but just to see the ballet in general, highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite things now. 
And yeah, I don't think I gave overviews of other performances I've seen because I've been recently quite a few times. So I went to see also the play that goes wrong the week before I took my mum. I think you'll have seen in this vlog a little bit of footage or last week's vlog. I can't remember which one it is now. I think it was actually last week's vlog. So uh, yeah, the previous vlog, uh, if you take a look, if you want to see what the stage design and everything looks like, but I really, really loved that one. It was so well done. It's yeah, it was just hilarious. I didn't know what to expect. Obviously with that, it, there's a limitless number of things that could go wrong, right? That they could make a comedic uh, bit out of. And I think they did amazingly. Like so many, you'd have to be constantly looking around the stage and the performance area to really get an overview of everything, but it was really exciting. So really love that as well. And I have a few more performances coming up as well that I'm going to see. So stay tuned for other vlogs as well to see that. Hello guys, I was at pottery painting with my friend. I will find a way to put those clips in, whether it's an overlay or you will have seen it slightly before, slightly after, probably after this clip to give you guys a little intro. Um, yeah, you'll see some of the um, progress and what exactly I did at pottery painting. I used Pinterest for inspiration. So I found a lot of uh, yeah pictures that I had a lot to choose from, which is good because you never know what you might be inspired by or decide to go with in the end, especially as a Gemini, I am always changing my mind. Well, not always, I shouldn't say that, that sounds toxic, but no, I'm like, I can be spontaneous. So when it comes to pottery painting, I would often, you know, once I get there, completely change my mind and say, that first picture is actually what I want to do. So so yeah, I had about 10 pictures to work with and you'll have seen the three items I made, which was very ambitious. I've never made three full items in one go. So I feel like that was very productive and I got my satisfaction of a, you know, a creative outlet and a very feminine activity by uh, doing that. So yeah, I have one gift for my parents and then a couple items for myself. So very excited to see how they turn out. And just a little outfit of the day, an update and everything, because I didn't show you guys as I was getting ready. This is from Heatless Curls. So I did, you know, the, the little thing you put over your head and then you wrap your hair around and tie it up. I did that. And I did receive that for Christmas. And it was one of the best things, because these are, these are like 2010 Taylor Swift curls, like, these are intense so yeah the fact that this was done with no heat is really really good and uh yeah so that's what my hairstyle was and then this top is from brave soul it's just a cute little zip up very perfect for winter kind of giving apres ski vibes so not that i even ski haven't gone for many years but that's kind of the vibe i'm getting but yeah perfect for winter and my friend actually showed up in something similar it's a little uh half zip and it's in this really pretty knitted blue design from a brand called brave soul these are my trusted uh high-waisted uh fourth and reckless trousers the really long flowy trousers uh yeah so all blue today then i just threw on a black coat but it was pretty warm during the day and yeah so i had a very fun creative day i've just finished filming a couple of videos so i need to go get a glass of water my mouth is so dry i've been talking for like 30 minutes but a very productive day got loads done and that's yeah that's my up I have this pizza dough. I think it's literally only like £1.50, so it's actually very cheap. And uh, yeah, I'm going to make a little homemade vegan pizza. And the finished effect. Can't wait to eat this. Maybe not all in one go, because it's quite a large pizza, but I'm gonna get my pizza cutter, cut it into, but I think four squares. And then I've added some fresh chili and capers. And yeah, it does look really good. The, the cheese has melted really well considering it's, you know, a vegan alternative. 